Hey, kid. Huh. You want to see a trick? <laughs> Welcome back to another demo and we have the second nine clues which of course I haven't played yet but I do have games by Artifix Mundi, other games by them sitting in my game manager and some of them are in my game list. So just for today we can do a walkthrough of this demo and I'm looking forward to it because I really haven't play the first one so it will be interesting what other stuff we got for the second installment but anyway enough talk just gonna adjust my sound and I need a voiceover no maybe just a little just a touch because mm. sometimes it's too faint Huh, widescreen! Ooh! Okay, let's go ahead and let's play. As always, on casual mode. Flight 13, 1954. Private investigators, what can I do for you? It's coming! He knows! Please, help us! Hi! New case, gear up. Hmm... How did he know where that call came from? I'm just sitting there with his keeper. Well, we're almost there. I've heard Manemo Sign Asylum is totally self-sufficient. This is where I trace that weird phone call we received. You get any leads on who might have placed it? So he traced the phone call. From his chair. I guess we're the only ones getting on the island rather than off it. It's pretty neat Hope we make it indoors before the storm hits. Okay, quick tutorial. Shall we go with a quick tutorial? Well, I usually do a quick tutorial for these demos and the games that I play blind, but we are not playing blind this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and click no, and don't worry, you'll have me. Ring the gate. You have better social skills than I do. Okay, so our detective partner says we have better social skills. Ring, oops. Okay, put that back. Ring again. Yes, who is it? My colleague and I are private investigators. We'd like to speak to whoever's in charge around here. A private detective? One more, please. Let's go. My name is Claudia Kreutz. I am in charge of this asylum. Why are you here? I received a distress call from someone in your asylum. That is extremely unlikely. Oh my. Uh oh. No! I bet a month's salary he's the one that phoned me. So, okay, we are officially in Act 1, and in case I didn't say it, that one is for the dialogue. The clip icon. You said it was unlikely someone from here needed help. Because it is true. You're right. Now, one of your employees is dead. Professor Crow? Jo Jonathan was my friend. I, I don't know what to say. Please, do your best and determine what happened. You must excuse me. 
I don't know what to think of all this. Okay. We have an objective. And this is, by the way, our journal of sorts. We have the objectives here. The people that we meet all over the game are here. I met Cloud Cross. What cool person? I don't like her. Sometimes. Huh, something's going on here. My boss is an ex MI6. Hmm. He quit the force after a mysterious case in Serpent Creek. That is the first game. Now we both work as private detectives. So I'm guessing he was the blonde guy who was working with a um, reporter, journalist in the first game. I haven't actually played the first game like I said, but I'm kind of familiar with it because some of my fellow LPRs are playing other stuff by Artifacts Mundi. Hands lock won't let me through. Wonder where this door leads to. Oh, the eyes. He's dead. Can you help me check the body for clues? Can you just do that? Oh, I guess I didn't. Professor Jonathan Crow, wonder what his job was here. I deserve this. The pain, the punishment. Uh oh. Feeling of guilt. Ooh, a key. I'm seeing things. I believe what Gordon told me. It's coming for us all. Uh oh. What did he mean? And who's that Gordon fellow? What was Professor Crow's job? And who's Gordon? Professor Crow was our therapist. Gordon visited him once in a while. Uh, he, something about night terrors. I need to take a look in Professor Crow's office. Second floor, left wing. Just don't be too nosy. Go check the professor's office. I'll take care of the body and alert the authorities. Okay. We are alone. Ouch! Darn. I'm so clumsy. I'm blind without my glasses. Can you help me find them? Maybe you shouldn't have been running down the stairs like that. Okay, here's your glasses, lady. Thank you. A wet floor can be treacherous. I heard someone scream. What happened? Professor Crow fell out a window. He didn't make it. Professor Crow is dead? Oh no. I... I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know what to say either. Ooh, what's that? In case of a fire, no where to look for a fire extinguisher. Ooh, is that a cup of coffee? Or is it hot chocolate? Hmm, cloudy crunch. Due to deteriorating conditions in Nemo's sign asylum since the 1950s five, we are canceling our father's therapy. Such an expensive facility should be able to provide safety and hospitality to its patients. Not to mention it could use a makeover. Ooh, I want that to be hot chocolate. Cause I don't drink coffee. Entrance to the East Wing. No time for sightseeing now. A small elevator. Wonder where it leads. Well, we have to go see Professor Crow's office. I'm sorry, but I need time to process all of this. Okay, let's leave her alone and let's go up. Ooh. Yeah, this asylum really needs some makeover. Just in case of fire or run like crazy. Weird looking statue. Look at those cracks in the wall. What's this? Trash can? Uh, can't remember if there are morphing objects here or not. Okay. Therapy room, Professor Jonathan Crow. I'm guessing there's some morphing objects somewhere. We'll see. Door is locked. 
by Crow himself before his death, or by someone else? Hmm. And this is a puzzle. We have to reach the hospital by going through all of those crosses. And I always forget how to do this because it it can be confusing. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, not that. Forgetting. Why do I keep forgetting? I was looking for hmm, this is more than a desperate person jumping out of a window what happened here and this is the main feature of nine clues and that's why they call it nine clues because there's nine of them the detective mode sequence, your goal is to find trails and clues hidden across the scene. Your mouse cursor will flash when close to a trail, and in casual and advanced mode. That's pretty helpful, actually. Okay. That one. I'm still flashing, so... That teddy bear head. Mash table. The lamp. Footprints. Hmm. Shattered glass. The writing. The ginger. Hmm. Mysterious. Hmm. Broken window. And what else? Are we missing? Aha! Scratch marks. 
Now your task to arrange the tiles with glues in the right order by clicking on the tile in between tiles. Use the background as a hint. Okay. I think this goes there. Yep. That looks right to me. Okay. No. Okay. There we go. This is a retrospection. Shows the course of events connected with the clues you have found on the crime scene. This is another nifty thing. Crow was sitting in his armchair. He had a box with him. Something happened. The professor drops the box on the floor. Someone enters the room, leaving footprints. Crow grabs the telephone and throws it at the suspect, smashing the glass cabinet. He picks up his cane and takes a swing at the perp but is overwhelmed. The cane smashes the glass table. The attacker comes closer and leaves deep cuts on the wall. Crow steps back. He throws a lamp between him and his opponent. Then, the professor falls out of the window. Was he pushed? The suspect approaches the couch and picks up the teddy bear? He rips off the toy's head and throws it near the armchair. Last, he cuts a name on the painting. Ginger. After leaving his message, the killer flees. This was no suicide. Why did the murderer write that name on the painting? Now, isn't that a nifty way of telling a story? Props to Architects Mundi for thinking of that. I really, really like that part. Aha! Uh -huh, creepy doll! It's some kind of message. Guilty? Hmm. Cute! It's a bear's head. It's half burned. What's in here? Professor, I saw it! I saw the thing from my nightmares! It's coming for me! I need to hide! I need to disappear! Gordon. Wow. He's either crazy or he's serious. Oh, poor teddy bear. That's Owen's phone number. Detective Owen. Owen was right. Professor Crow is the person who called us in the first place. Hmm. Owen was right. Professor Crow is the person who called us in the first place. Gordon Lefty. Hmm, doesn't say anything else about him. But we need to find him. What's in here? Jonathan Crow, degree of Doctor of Science, given by the National Psychology Academy in the year 1930 on the 12th of June. Yep, he was certainly an educated man. Ooh, I got a box cutter. I don't know why they call it paper knife. That's a box cutter. Something hidden under the picture. If only I could cut the picture away. And it's ruined anyway, so let's just ruin it. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a puzzle. It's a fairly easy one. I actually like this kind of puzzles better than rotating puzzles. It's written better than rotating puzzles. Uh, let's see. All we have to do is arrange them to make a logical sequence. Uh, that one, of course. And him seeing the doctor. And the nurse. 
And now he's happy. Mm. Stomach cake. It's blocked by an ambulance. And he's in a hospital bed. And now he's okay. Someone set the building on fire. And the firemen came. And now the building looks like this. Ah, a what? photo of the little girl. Wonder who she was. It's Ginger! June 26, 1954. Gordon was right. It's all my fault. If it wasn't for me, that poor girl would still be alive. We need to stop this. Ginger, forgive me. June 27, I saw something last night. Could it be that a powerful force comes to punish us for Ginger's death? Did Gordon see it too? After his session, Gordon left his key to the basement. He barely ever comes outside. I need to know what he's up to down there. Okay, I'll take that shovel key. Need to confront Gordon wherever he is. Uh oh. Something's wrong with the lights. What the? Ah! What was that? Am I hallucinating? My head feels like it's in a vice. Aha, uh -huh, this one's morphing. It's a phantom object. There are 15 of them lurking within the asylum. So this is the first one. Find them all to unlock an achievement. Okay. It's not moving anymore. Good. Okay. The doctor and Owen is here. This was no suicide. We may have a suspect. Who's Gordon? Gordon is our janitor. He used to visit Professor Crow for therapy. He recently suffered from night terrors. He's been acting strange. There was also a girl's name, Ginger. I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. Oh, Are you really? okay? You look pale. I had the strangest vision. Must be all the stress lately. Well, after witnessing what you did, who wouldn't? Mrs. Kreitz, I'd like my partner to search the facility. Oh, what choice do I have? Follow your gut. I'll stay here and try to get a hold of the authorities. Here is a map of the facility. You don't want to get lost around here. No, no, we don't want to get lost. Especially with the uh, creepy people and cold people around. Yay! Map, map, map. Uh -huh, exclamation mark for stuff that we have to do. Okay, let's go. Put this here. Open sesame. What the? Uh oh. Someone locked us in and gave us this creepy doll. Again. This feels strange. Get out. Hmm. I believe this one's for me. Yeah. Somebody doesn't like us. We are now in Act 2. Ooh, the arm just moved. It's just a mannequin's arm. I must be seeing things. To do this, hide the key to the machine room, prepare the mannequin, set up the wire, set up the bear trap, prepare the barbed wire, the bomb, explosives. What? Looks like Gordon was up to something. Okay, we can play his game. Yeah, Gordon, I don't like you doing stuff. Ah, morph. Come on, I saw you. Ha, ah, you can't hide from me. Look, but I bet I could force it open. So needs a key. 
This one is covered in barbed wire and electrified, thanks to Gordon. There's someone on the other side. Maybe I can get his attention. Thanks for the screwdriver. I don't think he can hear me. Mm. I don't think he can hear me. Yeah, it's probably Gordon. And he's ignoring us. Aha! Keys! Okay, no more electricity! Haha! Let's open this thing. Ooh, sparkly! Sparkly! Instead of searching for hidden objects, you can play a game of mahjong. Click here to switch. Match pairs of identical tiles to remove them from the board. You can only remove tiles that have at least one vertical edge free. Each time you match two golden tiles with the face pattern, a hidden object is removed from the list. Pair of tiles is locked, you must remove all remaining tiles to open the lock and match the last pair. Okay, okay. If you want to leave, you can just toggle and go back to the hidden objects. Scene. Yeah, I think I'll do that as a last resort. Measuring tape, folding ruler, protractor. Is that it? Bellows, I see. Hand drill, I see you. Beer can. Glasses. Duct tape. A level. A bottle. Saw. Where's my protractor? There you go. Sharp shears. Uh huh. Sharpen those. Ha ha! We got shears. Uh oh. There's a bear trap. Now we're inside the storage. 